It's a new year, new me, baby. Just kidding. Okay, I did actually want to do a little update on my current fitness routine because the last time I did a video like this was about seven months ago. And while nothing has drastically changed, I do have a few little like little tweaks for the new year just to kind of combat some changes that have been happening. So let's sit down and talk about it. Let's talk about the basic plan and we're gonna talk with our strength training. Really simple, I wanna strength train for myself three times a week. So that means not when I'm teaching, not when I'm working with anyone, just doing it for me. If you remember last year, I was taking taking this class at a group fitness studio and it was like small group training one to two times a week. And unfortunately they stopped offering that class in November. So I stopped going and then they just announced the other day that they're closing for good, which is really sad. I feel like group fitness has not fully recovered in New York City yet. So since they closed, I had been pretty consistent in doing my own workouts. I was just choosing stuff from the fit club. And then all of a sudden first week of January, my friend Bonnie, who's a trainer based out of Philly, announced she had an opening and I was like, Let's do it. So my new plan is to work out with Bonnie twice a week, and then I'm gonna do one additional strength workout of my choice on the weekends. Let's talk about steps. I was really great with my steps the whole year, especially, of course, especially when I was training for my 5K. And then December hit, I was doing that $100 food budget challenge. I was attached to my computer, just editing and then prepping for the new year. So my steps were terrible, which is fine. Like I had to prioritize what I had to prioritize. I went on vacation. I got back from vacation on the 2nd. Today it is currently the 10th. And I just because I'd fallen out of the habit, it, it wasn't a habit anymore. So I'm keeping my step goal of 70,000 a week, which ends up being about 10,000 a day. And one of the tactics I'm going to bring back that I used to do is put in my calendar, put in my walks in my calendar, schedule it out for myself. Otherwise I will not do it. I would also this month like to get in one run per week. I am doing another 5K in March, but I'll pick up like more, I was gonna say serious training. It's 5K, Justina. Uh, but I will pick up like more consistent running in February. And finally, nutrition. I actually feel really solid with my nutrition. I think if I can improve anything, it's just eating breakfast a little bit sooner. A lot of times I just jump right into my work and I forget to eat breakfast until like 10 or 11 and then my whole day just gets kind of pushed back. So there's two ways that I'm gonna combat this. Number one is to make something the night before, like overnight oats, which, okay, I didn't finish it, but I did that last night. Or I can put it in my calendar. Again, I used to do this a lot just, by, just like with walks and I find that by putting it in my calendar, it makes me treat it like a work event. Like I have to show up and do it. But honestly, overall, I've been really consistent and feeling really good with my nutrition. So I'm happy with that. And now a word from our sponsor. Skillshare is an online learning community where the possibilities are endless. And right now is the perfect time to utilize their platform and work on your 2023 goals. Since my fitness routine requires a lot of planning and focus, I'm prior prioritizing my productivity this year. And Skillshare helps make that possible. Right now I'm taking Real Productivity, How to Build Habits That Last with Thomas Frank. I definitely take on too much, which can create unsustainable habits. So I'm hoping this course will help keep me grounded and build a fitness routine that can last the whole year, not just this month. Remember that no goal is too small and Skillshare has thousands of courses to help you along the way. Now, if you're working on a goal this year, I have a deal for you. The first 1,000 people to use my link below will get a free month of Skillshare. So I highly encourage you to grab that offer and start building some habits and goals that can fit you. Right. Happy Friday. We're going to talk a little bit about the personal training that I'm doing. So like I said, I'm training with my friend Bonnie. I'm going to leave all of her stuff linked below. And today we're going to take you behind the scenes of one of my sessions. So my big goals with her is really just to build up the strength in my glutes, hamstrings, core, back. So really like a lot of posterior chain. We did have my first session earlier this week. So this is my second. And it's great. And I'm just like really excited for the accountability as well. I've said it a thousand times. I am such like a group fitness person. So I was just like, I feel like I need, I need to like have human contact. <laughs> so um, yeah, I guess that's it.
<laughs> yes, Queen Bonnie. Bonnie, tell everyone what your favorite, what's your favorite exercise? A dead bug. Ooh, okay, I love it. Thank you, Bonnie. I got it. I'm very tired. <laughs> I'm about to get back in the dramas because I'm actually off today, but that nice long walk got me to 7,000 steps. And that is what we're talking about today. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I was really good with my steps last week. This week, not so much because I do have a tiny little head cold. So I'm just trying not to like exacerbate it by walking around a bunch, but I kind of have off today. And by kind of, I mean, I do. I'm gonna be doing editing and some programming, but I don't have any clients or classes to teach. So Kevin and I went on a nice long walk. We had some errands to run. I gave myself a little tweet for going out of the house. And yeah, we're gonna get back in pajamas and continue working. But I do wanna share with you guys one of my absolute favorite tips on how to get in your steps. I've made tons of videos all about steps before, ways you can do it without leaving the house, with leaving the house. But the number one thing that works for me is to schedule it in my calendar like like it is literally a work event. That's the thing that helps remind me, like this is a non-negotiable. If it's in my calendar, I am doing it. Something else that really helps with the walk is if you can tie an errand to it. We had to go place an order for something, so that was nice motivation. If you can do it with a friend, like it was, lovely starting the day walking around with Kevin and we were just like shooting the shit and laughing and telling old stories. If you are going by yourself, maybe you leave your favorite podcast for that moment, right? Or maybe you leave some new album that just came out on Spotify for that moment. Like give yourself a treat or literally you can do what I did and buy yourself a chocolate croissant, a chocolate croissant and that's your physical treat, right? So give yourself some type of non-negotiable and incentive to actually do it. So before we kind of put a pin in that, I do want to show you what that looks like on my calendar. Zoe. <laughs> How? <laughs> All right, so here's my calendar. Let's say I'm putting in that I want to go for a walk. I am going to make this an event. We'll put it in as walk. I'm going to make it a non-negotiable. That's my color for that. <laughs> and now it's in the calendar. So really simple and you know, whatever form works for you in your calendar, alarm on your phone, on your to-do list. But I find that treating it like it is just as important as a work event works for me. So maybe it'll work for you. <laughs> Happy Sunday, everybody. We are talking about nutrition. So like I said, one of my big nutrition goals is honestly just to continue what I'm doing, prioritizing minimally processed foods, balanced meals. I don't count calories, I don't count macros, and I've been feeling really good. If you if you were around in December, you saw this you a lot, and we are gonna do some ingredient prep. I'm also cleaning at the same time, little habit stacking right there. But let's talk about what we're gonna ingredient prep today. As a reminder, I am not a big fan of traditional meal prepping where you make like a bunch of the same meal and just eat it throughout the week. I just, if I eat the same thing for too long, I kind of get the ick. All right, so our prep is actually really simple. We'll pop it up right next to me. For breakfast, we're gonna make this baked oatmeal. It's really simple. I will, I guess, leave the recipe down below. Editing Justina, can you do that? And then I have to make some brown rice and then I just have to take a piece of salmon out of the freezer. So my ingredient prep is really just how can I prep things enough so that I don't feel like it's a hurdle to make and or eat them in the moment. Most of the time for me, that just means, hey, do I have things prepped enough where I can throw it in a pan, heat it up, and then I can eat it within five to 10 minutes. And that's good enough for me. So. So I guess let's let's run Madame Roomba through here and let's start meal prepping.
bone, got a couple cracks on it. Oh well, baby boy, I'm the retina. People show and tell. Something spicy in my drink. Do my dance like turning tag. With a waist that uh, she make a boy act dumb. She knows she hot, she knows she pretty. She's a for wet, the steam is all dizzy. I feel air, I feel petty. I feel gross, I feel messy. Oh my god, oh no, no. Oh boy, that was slow. I'm definitely just out of practice. I haven't run since like the first week of December and it's almost February. So we're going to not think too hard about it. Also, the point of that run, the whole time he was like, you're not trying to run fast, you're recovering. I want you to run even slower than you think you need to. And I think cardiovascularly and mentally, I felt a lot better this run than my first run, which is great. So we can really hopefully only go up from here. I will say my calves killing me, my Achilles, kind of killing me and I think a lot of that is because I started dancing again this week so it's just a lot of movement so I really need to focus on my recovery I'm not working out tomorrow my Saturday workout is my pull-up routine so my lower body will get a little bit of break overall feeling good happy to be back running to be determined <laughs> Okay, so it is Saturday morning. I know that everyone is a little bit different with their routine. I typically love including like a weekend workout, especially when it's a day where I have to get other stuff done. And the reason is because once I at least just like get out of my pajamas, start moving my body and do something positive, I feel like I'm that much more motivated or inspired or just like in the right mindset to do the other things that I have to do. So today I am doing my little pull up routine workout. I actually made a whole video about how to get pull-ups and then I have a free four weeks to pull up workout guide on my website if you want to download that. So I'm basically just going to choose a few exercises to work on my back and core strength and we'll call it a day. Let's go. Staring out the window, reaching for a north star, waiting just to wake up from this nightmare where you could be right back in my arms, dancing to the limb. Done. Simple, but strategic. I wish that we still had our TRX up on the wall. It actually got pulled out. But I would have added in like some inverted rows or TRX chin-ups or something. But that was like just enough to get the ball moving. And yeah, overall, I feel like I am really enjoying my movement schedule right now. It has enough flexibility and structure that I am feeling like it's going to be good for long term. And I can just like make micro adjustments here and there based off of how I'm feeling, what my schedule is like. So thank you one more time to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. If you guys have any questions or you just want to share your workout routine, what your fitness goals are for this year, let me know down below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one.